Number nine, variable sprint length. This is not a classic. The team decides to just add a few days to the sprint to make sure that they achieve the sprint goal. In my eyes, this is just another way to cook the agile box. Please remember the goal of the sprint is to deliver working software that delights the customer. It's not about meeting certain metrics that probably are important to the management. I'll suggest that you stop lying to yourself and address the underlying issues. For example, why didn't the sprint outcome meet the sprint goal during the next retrospective? Note, I would not consider a deviating sprint length during the holiday season at the end of the year to be an anti-pattern. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to have two crippled sprints over the end of the year and Christmas. So if you combine them to one long sprint, I think this is totally okay. It's pragmatic, right? 